can oh, be on Oh, I have that. to do my top, uh... <laughs> what a cliffhanger we left people on. <laughs> <laughs> we, never, we never did do that. We All right, we'll definitely do that in this one then. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Sneaky Games, a Sly 2 Band of Thieves Let's Play channel here on my YouTube channel, Sly Games. We're back, trying to get these bottles still. I'm, I'm joined once again by my good friend Grayson. Grayson, what's going on, buddy? What's good? Shit. Not this fucking, this 30th bottle? Not good. Not, not Famously, good. not good. Famously horrendous. I forget what other area, the, there's another one that I cut out a solid 15 minutes of me being like, where the fuck is this bottle? And you guys just saw 25 minutes of that pretty, pretty much. Was but, it the second Rajan? I feel like the bottle is in that one. Tough. It might have been that one, especially because I had to do it twice. Like, I got to, like, I have 29. Which one was I missing, like, again? And it just, yeah. when I had to go back and get them, it ended up being, like, a super simple one. I saw, It was, like, on the ground. And I somehow yes. didn't even see it. But, so last time we did the recon, so we found out that uh, Arpeggio had all the parts for Clockwork, but they weren't animated yet. They were just there, and Bentley smartass was like, well, if we, if we reverse the magnetic polarity on the Furtbur, it'll fix the... It'll crash it all to the ground! And it did that, but then it, like, the force literally, like, smushed it all together so that it now worked. Like, Arpeggio and Bentley, these two geniuses, all they had to do was, like, throw it on the ground <laughs> for it to work, and that's all it took. So then Arpeggio's like, aha, I have tricked you, right, Neela? And she's like, fuck you! And kicks over his cart, or whatever that he was in. Jump since now that it's not clockwork or Neela, it's clockla, which is primo creativity right there. <laughs> then she just eats Arpeggio, which I, I forgot that, that happened until I just said that. Arpeggio is literally dead. <laughs> like, she just killed this man. And now she's flying around, and Bentley's new plan is we need to basically get into the engines and lower her defenses. And we did one of those missions because I accidentally landed on the mission spot trying to get a bottle. So we didn't mean to do that mission, but we did that one. So we've got one out of four done. I think we've decided we're just going to start these missions and just hope to God that they take us to the bottles. In absolute worst case scenario, before whatever the final operation is, like, I don't care if it takes four hours, I will find that bottle. Like, it'll, that's literally the only bottle left in this entire game <laughs> left to grab now. It needs to be grabbed. So his first mission here is charge TNT run. So let's get into this. We also were talking about how we mentioned doing a top five Sly 1 levels and then just didn't do it. We just didn't do it. <laughs> So we're gonna so you're do welcome that. to that cliffhanger. Yeah. Um, I know you've been waiting 24 hours on pins and needles. Yep, exactly. <laughs> oh god. TNT barrels. Very not fun fact. I was the only other mission in this game with those TNT barrels is that uh, level in Rajan when I was doing it when you texted me that Kobe Bryant passed away. <laughs> yeah. Fucking insane. I still can't believe that happened. That was so weird watching it back. Oh my god. Three magnetic chargers. <laughs> oh yeah, you have to do this multiple. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh no, you pick those up. So I need to be in this first though, right? Yeah. Like I need to be in the barrel and do it? Yeah. This guy's gonna fucking hear me somehow. I could swear I heard a barrel at for a second, but or a bottle for a second, but no. Okay, I can't wait till I accidentally jump after like ten minutes of running around. So yeah, while I'm walking here, so we talked. You said you might need a little bit of a refresher on what the five yeah, were. So just walk me through. I know there's. I don't remember all their names, but there's the frog guys. The first. Yep, the frog uh, is Raleigh. Raleigh. There's uh, the second gunslinger guy. He's uh, mugshot, mugshot, which is at a casino. So there's Raleigh at like a island that has like a machine creating like a constant storm around it. Yeah. Then there's mugshot has a casino. Then the then there's Miss Ruby. Yeah. Which we talked about is this whole spice plotline racist. Miss Ruby absolutely <laughs> fucking racist. Hundred percent. Sly Cooper. Like 
That, like, you legitimately did a better voice than whatever they yeah. fucking. Honestly, oh my yeah. God. It was it was Neela to the extreme of like, all right, we're not gonna hire another voice actress. Like, someone just needs to do this in house. Like, what do we got? It was and so bad. It was absolutely terrible. Um, and then uh, was Panda King. Oh, Panda. Yep. Um, and then Clockwork and then himself. Clockwork. Yeah. Okay. So should we do the same thing from five to one? Yeah, we can do that. So for our first list, we actually like prep this, but this one is just like off the cuff, like we had the idea. So I'm kind of be like, uh, I would probably say like have to like think of it on the fly for both of us on this yeah. one. So you go first because I need a little more okay. time to gather. Yeah. Gather my <clears throat> deep deep thoughts on this matter. I would. What are the odds I could jump this and not die? Uh, as long as you don't actually get jump. I think you actually can, but don't get. Oh, yeah. Um. This is tough. So I disliked Miss Ruby's fight the most because it was just like a god awful. Like the button timing wasn't very smooth. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it was just like mechanically not fun. Okay, thank God. Fuck, I'm dead. You know, you know that you can just like freeze and they won't see you, right? I now remember this, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I do know now. <laughs> I think I just, Oh, thank God I still have the one. I think oh, I just... Yeah. I could never figure that out because it just seems so dumb to me. Like, why would they not be concerned that there's a barrel of dynamite just standing here? investigate. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I like... I hate Miss Ruby's boss fight. Miss Ruby herself is... Uh, unfortunate. <laughs> now... <laughs> <laughs> but, like, the voodoo swamp is so fucking cool, I think. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is actually really hard. Probably Raleigh. Just because it's it's almost like the Dimitri. Like, oh, he's just, like, the starter level, so he's not, like, super, like, there's not a whole lot to him. And plus, yeah. he's, he himself is kind of just boring. Like, he's just, like, yeah. a crazy frog. Like, I'm like, why and do people boss, listen to you? I don't understand. That boss fight was so easy. Oh, my God, it's nightmarishly simple. I was like, oh, this is definitely a children's game. Now I remember. Yep. Um, so that that's probably my number five is Raleigh, just because he's like kind of eh. Yeah. I think my number five is actually Miss Ruby. Um, mm -hmm. For all the reasons that you said, and also I just like didn't like the swamp that much. Or as much. Yeah. Um, I remember I looked back on it more fondly than I did like actually playing it again. I was like, yeah. it's kind of cool, but like the missions themselves yeah, like, were kind of annoying. Yeah, none of none of the missions like stuck out to me the way that ones and the other ones do. Um, oh my! Oh. Yeah, I think Ruby's probably my number four. I would say because I was thinking yeah. about it. I was like, she would almost have to be four for that reason. I also kind of like the idea. Like, I miss. I like the overworld bottles, but I also loved each mission having its own set of bottles. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. They weren't as hard to get all of them either. This fucking guy is going to just somehow know I'm in there. I don't know what happens if they, like, walk into you or walk up. Yeah. It's almost like he can't. Like, the game keeps, like, stopping him. Definitely. This is vicious. Mm-hmm. Look at his dumb face. Oh. Oh! I'd make a ah! <laughs> They turn around so fast! Oh my god! I in hindsight, I should have went to the one I'm going to now second, because now I have to go all the fucking way across. But I couldn't figure out how to get up to it. There's always a there's always a most efficient path. Yeah, this ain't it. Um, um I feel like my I'm gonna put a uh, mugshot. Okay. Um, I didn't love the old, and I know we we talked about this, and obviously the the racing part with yes um, but i remember fucking loving that i liked it a lot more playing it again than i remembered like i thought it was like super annoying for some reason yeah fuck where is that thing i hate that you can't see him god motherfucker oh, holy shit i remember this i mean this is a hard mission it really is like <clears throat> I I felt like an idiot dying and failing so many times because these basically are kids games, but like they're not necessarily like cakewalk games either. Like there's yeah. still, and it all comes back to like an impatience thing for me. I'm just yeah. like I just want to keep running and doing the thing. 
Yeah. That's how I eventually always died, is I would just plow through everything. Oh, yeah. Fast. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's my four would be Mugshot. Mugshot, okay. So I've got Mugshot, Clockwork, and the Panda King left. I'm trying to workshop this on the fly. I think my number three might be... Fuck, you know, I think it, it probably is Mugshot. I think Mugshot's my number three. Yeah. I like the, the casino itself. Yeah. And I liked the, like, the one mission where you had to, like, climb the skyscraper or whatever. That one was fun. Or, yeah, the, the like, the sign and stuff. God damn it. Literally, it never fails. Fuck. Yeah, the sign one was cool. Yeah, that was good. That was, that was probably one of the best, like, linear missions that they mm -hmm. had. Yeah. I feel like three and two are pretty close for me then. Yeah. But yeah, um, I, I think I'll put Mugshot at three. This might be very controversial, but I'm going to put Clockwork at three. Ooh. Okay. Uh, and I feel like part of it is just how quick it is. Yeah. And on the one hand, it was cool that they kind of like um, changed up the game and, and made it just like that one long linear thing. And as far as like the boss fight goes, it like that part was cool. Mm -hmm. um, it was very overall, different though. Like I wanted a world, like a hub world and missions to like yeah. start and stop on. And there was no like, bottles. Overall, yeah, it's just, like, not very memorable. It's mm -hmm. so short and so quick, and it you don't actually have time to, like... It, it's not a world in and of itself, you know? Yeah. Like the other yeah. ones are. I, I definitely think it has the toughest... Can I not fucking get up that? Go. Oh, my God. I think it has the toughest um, mission in that game, too. The, like, climb the thing as the lava's as rising. It, that was actually really tough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, these missions. Um, I'm feeling good about putting this at number five. I think this is almost a lot of some of this has been more tedious than I think anything else. Yeah. Um. So your number three was the Clockwork area. So my number two is probably Clockwork area. I think because I I really liked my number one minus the boss fight. Uh, it was kind of weird, but yeah, number two, I like, I just really wish that it had bottles and stuff because I was excited for like what this level of Sly Two could have been like for Sly One. Like, I don't know. It also yeah, it really that, threw me off how fast it was too. Like, oh shit! Like the game's done now. Like, all right then. Yeah. Yeah, and then for me, number two is actually going to be Raleigh, um, which the boss fight was trash. Oh uh, shit! Yeah, but I I liked I liked the world, and I feel like it had the most really strong like missions. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe it's just because it was the beginning, and so you were kind of feeling by it the out. End, you're bored with the you know just running through and grabbing all the bottles. Yeah. Um, but I, how the fuck are you gonna get up? I, yeah, I'm trying to look at the ramps. What if those like bouncy things work? They do not. I think I specifically refer that. <laughs> Just getting obliterated by those things. But then again, like they have the little ramps that lead up to them. Right. Yeah, I, I liked Raleigh's. I liked the like rainy, like aesthetic of it. Like it just felt like a dark, stormy night. It was like a good. Like it made sense for so, like a thief trying to sneak in type of thing. So my number one would be Panda King. Which is that also your number one? Yep. Okay. I was, just, I, was just, I was like, I don't think he said the Panda King. Um, I like the idea of the boss fight. I just found it super easy to like dodge yeah. all of his stuff. But I love the even with his like smushed in face. That thing looks so bad. Yeah. But um, most of the of the boss fights, and I think you have to go up and like around that way somewhere. Back this way. Yeah, like no behind you. If you drop down, so I that's think that you pathway to, like, I was on. You have to like go up and loop around somewhere. <gasps> I, I think I see it. If I can get to that there, I think you're right. If that goes to it, I'm not sure. Hell, if I die, I was this is where I started, so I basically just walked all the way around for nothing. Wait, I think I need to go this way. Yeah, for me, I, I mean, I guess I'm just into the snow. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a new thing now, yeah. Well, this is a good time to try this out, if I even can. That has to be, that's the only way I can think I can get up there. 
is this thing will jump me, but I'm almost positive that it will kill me. Oh, I think I think it like slowly lifts you in positive. Mm. If I remember correctly. Well, we about to find out. Ooh, nice. You're right. Okay, that should be it then. That that was literally like where I spawned. Like just walk left. It was right there. But yeah, I like the like the crazy firework guy like he uses fireworks as like explosives and stuff that was yeah like he literally like <laughs> causes that avalanche to fall in a whole village i was like this is dark this is fucked up yeah. i'm an adult now i'm playing sly Cooper. and he's he's also a cool villain and uh, again non-spoiler spoilers for three yeah um yeah. it's cool that he kind of shows up again mm -hmm. wait before you do that pause and look where you're supposed to go yeah I think you're gonna have to go. I think I have to go on that thing. <clears throat> you have to like time it perfectly. Yeah, to be able to walk the whole way across, which is gonna be great. I don't understand why these birds have jetpacks. Also, like, he's not even flying. I also just realized he's on stilts. What? He's on like raised Shit. boots. I never noticed that. <laughs> Wait, so it is? It's it is the exact same. It's guys. literally the exact same guys. Yeah. I never noticed that before. Oh my God. Go this way. I can't wait to fucking blow up. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, then you go up that. <sighs> <clears throat> Praise the Lord and Savior. Praise Him. Thank God. Praise God for Vittery. Praise God for Vittery. So now I actually want to jump out, right? Because I don't want to do that again. Yeah. No! Oh, oh, okay. Oh, Perfect. That didn't seem right. supercharged, but... No, that so, felt very underwhelming. I feel like Bentley's bombs could have just done that. So should I, do you want to do... Ooh, Murray Sly Tag Team oh. or Bentley Murray Tag Team? Oh! You you pick, Daddy. Oh, uh, let's do the Murray Sly Tag Team. First. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm super excited to get into uh, Sly 3. Because I, I feel like... Do you remember if Sly 3 is any longer than this game? It's short. It's I think it's significantly shorter. I think really? this one is by far the longest one. Ah. Because this, this one, I've seen like videos on YouTube <clears throat> of... Oh, what the fuck? Of, like full playthroughs, like, no commentary, and, like, people can beat this game in, like, ten hours. Whereas yeah. the first game was, like, a five, literally a five-hour game. It's yeah. so short. I, I was, I mean, you can, you can beat pretty much every level for two hours, except maybe yeah. this one. Like, and that's complete 100%. I, mm -hmm. If you're not 100%ing every level, it's gonna be even faster than that. Right. <gasps> Do you hear that? It looks like I'm gonna need some help. Bottles over I, here. Oh, you can't hear anything. I, f <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh, the bottle's over here, though. I hear it. <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> oh, my God. That's so good. It's hilarious, because that's what you do in the actual video when you're just playing by yourself. Recording. <laughs> right? And you'll be like, wait. Do you Did you hear that? that? But Thank when I'm watching God. the video, oh, there it is. Well, I can't get it with uh, Murray. So I just started the mission. But now we know. Thank God we did it. Oh, our curse is over. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray. Hooray. Oh, they make guys show up, I think. Like, I don't care. The one time there's, the guards aren't, like, having, like, super hearing. I love that jump. Oh, that hit the damn thing. Alright, where's another barrel? That thing is just like constantly making an alarm go off and like none of the guards give a shit. The one time. Okay, so we got it takes three three throws to take it out. One of the things that I didn't remember was that you don't actually use Murray that much in the game. Not, yeah, I would say it's absolutely um, 
mostly uh, Bentley. And even then, like, I would say half of Bentley's missions. Those eggs, bro. Not that you can't use the oh, dynamite. You know what? Oh my god, they just keep showing up, too. That's perfect. <laughs> Fucking the Inferno flop is so good. You're 100% right. They just keep showing up. So I'm like, where's barrels at? Don't even need them. <laughs> Rack, rack ball, rack ball. But yeah, I, I mean, obviously, it's way more than. Uh, we've we've talked about this, but we could, let's talk about it on pod. Yeah. Um, how Murray's personality literally does a fucking 360 <laughs> turn from the first one to the second it really one. Really does. Like, He's so one. worthless in the first game. It's so funny. First one, he just is sniveling and scared all the time, he and just wants doesn't food. do anything except drive the van. Yeah. And then he shows up, and the first thing he says in this one is the Murray. Yeah, I'm the so Murray. Bad. Like, fuck everybody in the ass at all times. <laughs> and it's like, what? Yeah, like, who are you? Like, they just did a complete like 360. Yep. And you could have explained that. Yeah. Like, why <laughs> was he? Like, oh, Murray started practicing karate and it really improved his confidence. Now he's <laughs> yeah. badass. It's the, uh, it could have yeah. been a million things. Yeah. I think it, that's another good question how you were mentioning last time about like how much of what this game here is compared to the first one did they like want to do from day one maybe? Like I wonder if they had like plans to make Murray like a real thing but they just like didn't have the budget or they're like oh we really need people to care about Sly, and then if they care about yeah. Sly, then we'll worry about everybody else. Like, who knows? Well, I have to imagine it was in the plan just because he exists in the first one at all. Like, yeah. He he literally did nothing from like a, from a narrative standpoint and a gameplay standpoint. Yeah. He easily could have not been there, and it wouldn't have mattered at all. Yeah. And like so Bentley felt actually imagine. important, but Murray not really. Yeah, I I had to imagine that they that was mm -hmm. he was in the plans. But they clearly didn't know what they wanted him to be, or else they would have just made him this all along, or... Right. I, I honestly don't. No idea. The, like, up-down of this area. This has a lot of, like, Predator Awakes vibes to me, of, like, there's yeah. one way you can get up there. Okay, go around that way. It really is just like, okay, there we go. Follow the ramps. Alright. Hand- oh, I was gonna say, handstone fire? Hell yeah. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna mash the buttons. Do you- wait, do you remember why they- what they said- why did you have to blow up those boxes to do this? I think it was just the alarm- like, the security system, essentially. Since, like, triggering them made them go off. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Classic Sly. Oh, we, we need to talk about how none of the security <laughs> in any of these places makes any fucking sense. No. Like, they're all very blatantly built to be able to be snuck through. Yeah, yeah. The one that really blew me away was in when in one of the train heists where you have to crawl underneath the lasers <laughs> and around the, the fucking luggage. <laughs> yep. It's like, oh yeah, we uh, built the security system in so that uh, there's an area underneath for the luggage to just chill. Yep. And uh, yeah, you can definitely fit a raccoon body under there. Mm -hmm. There's a solid foot there where you're just completely unharmed. <laughs> no threat at all here. Nope. This is very slow. Finally, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Oh, there's the, uh, the vault, too. I'm assuming I can't land on any of this. I wonder what that power-up is, because I know for certain that I never... Yeah, I'm very curious, too. Especially because that, um... I never did test that one in Sly 1. The final power-up is, like, like an alto, like... It, st it basically world stuns every guard in the game or something wild like that. It's like super oh, broken, okay. but you you can't the one that open you had it. To come back to? Yeah, like you can't open it until the end of the game. Yeah. 
Okay. That sucks. I couldn't get that bottle. I'm gonna have to come back in here again. Oh well. You probably should have done the safe before. Well, I, don't, I remember I we know where that last one is, but oh shit, yeah, yeah you're right. I have to now I can run and get it. Fuck, ninety-two percent. That's wild. Well, now I'm gonna do that then. I'll switch. Well, I won't have to switch. I'll just with Sly run and go get that bottle, and, and then back. come back in here. And what was that? I think it was the menace in the north. Maybe. No, it was the he who tame, tames the iron horse. It was like the first one that I just did the. We're gonna do the recon and only the bottles in the first yeah. uh, video, and then that you could actually get to the vault like at the very beginning too. Like normally yeah. it's like how this one is. You have to do a couple of missions before you even get to the area where it is. All right, yep. so we need to remember where that tower is is where the the room to get the vault is. So since I obviously haven't played, we're like super jumping the gun on this one, but I haven't played Sly Four really. Like, literally the whole shtick of that game is, like, do you remember why they're going back in time? No. No. I was say, because I... It's a really cool idea, I think, to, like, see Sly's family. Um, but yeah, I was like, I have no clue why they're doing it. Or, like, yeah, what video game reason they give for needing to go there. <laughs> yep, I don't... I Yeah, I don't remember at all. Hmm. Um, I think it's probably... Cool. You have to, like, collect maybe certain moves or certain items from... Yeah. Like, you learn their trademark thing or whatever. Yeah, kind of like the original Thievius mm -hmm. Rack. Oh, fuck, I forgot. They, that would be on the map now that I know where it is anyways. Yeah. Which I, I like that, because, like, the Ninja Spire Jump is technically one of those. The Rail Slide is one of those. Yeah. Uh, one of the, um... One of the things that, uh, about this game... Because I, I remember loving the, the, the Bentley... Um, hacking missions a ton. Yeah. And I feel like I was remembering them for the third one, because the hacking missions in this one aren't... Not aren't great. What them being. No, I was just, I had the exact same thought. Here we go. <laughs> 86 plus 5 percent. I just love the idea of, like, Bentley says a code, and Sly's like, it's not taking. He's like, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> oh, invisibility? What? Oh, shit. Shadow power? What the fuck? It's like from the first one. You've got the shadow power move. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Let's put it on the... We'll switch it with R2. Oh, oh. oh shit. Let's go. <laughs> So it just like slowly drains the power on it. That's amazing. I was I was wondering that too. I was like, "Fuck, where's the invisibility at in this game?" That makes sense because I wouldn't have got all the bottles. Yep. I don't remember if I got all the bottles like in anything. I feel like I always got to where, like, "Well, I've got 28." And I don't fucking know where it is. I and, think I maybe got it in the Dimitri one just mm -hmm. because that was so easy. Yeah, and it's like the first time. It's like, oh, there's like open world bottles. Like, oh shit. All right. So now we got. Murray and Bentley tag team, I want to say. Oh, hell yeah. Get booking! <laughs> oh, man. I... There, oh, there's this one stretch in uh, uh, the first Jean Bisson where you can get going really fast. It's like coming down from where Carmelita had Murray. Oh, like yeah. Following that path and then, like, going down below <laughs> towards where you go to towards your hideout. Ugh. I would love an upgrade to the stealth slide where, like, if you get going fast enough, you almost, like, you have, like, a blur effect on you where if you just, like, fucking slammed right into a guard, it was, like, an insta-kill or something. But you had to be going, like, super fast to get it to trigger yeah. or something. That'd be amazing. Can you can you do two power-ups at once? Like, could you do slow down time and, uh... Oh, fuck. I don't even know. That would be interesting. I fucking love the adrenaline burst. It's one of my favorite powers yeah. in this game. It's so good. I feel like the... This would be helpful, though. Yo! <laughs> That's amazing. And the crazy... Look, on the animation, it stays on his back. Like, even when you're running around, he's... Oh, around. yeah! I never noticed that. That's super cool. Alright. I don't remember... So we've got two out of the four, I think. 
Right. Oh no, we did, we did one in the first video, then Sly in the barrels, Murray throwing the thing, so this should be the last one. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm curious if, like, the operation starts after this, because then this will keep the thing where the final area was by far the shortest in the first game, and if this is already done after this mission and then the operation, this will be right there with it. Oh, fuck me up, hacking. Thank God. <clears throat> the noise that the game makes when he's doing that, they're like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Alright, hacking time. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Well, wait, what the fuck? Oh, wait, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! I remember. Now we're talking. Wait, did Bentley explain that he had that? Or were you just supposed to figure that out on your own? I have no idea. I think just figure it out. I'm, I'm feeling real dumb. There we go. <clears throat> so I thought, it, I was like, this looks weird. Like, the projectiles are, like, bigger now. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I remember loving. I'm gonna, like, pass out looking at all these balls flying around. <laughs> it's, like, making my vision go blurry. I'm like, where are they going? <laughs> Too many balls makes your vision blurry? <laughs> I got I got balls all over the place. Sly! There's too many oh, balls! I love how I'm hitting so the... so many balls! <laughs> I'm hitting the ones down there. There we go. My angles are fucked. Yeah, they hit really hard. Okay. You need uh, you need to go back to Mr. Nally's geometry class. <laughs> I know. I'm just like, whoa! <laughs> Fly! It's out of control! <laughs> One down. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't, this is the first time I've equipped that one. I should have been using this this whole time. I thought it was just going to be like a third jump, but it's like way more than that. Yeah, it's really slow, That which sucks, but yeah, it's, it, yeah, it, it lasts a long time. Yeah. There's one thing I know about Bentley, is that he lasts a long time. <laughs> Let's be real, Bentley ain't lasting. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Sly! <laughs> so many of them! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Fuck! What I want to know is. <laughs> <laughs> any of these guards know that Arpeggio is dead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, why are they here anymore? Just out of complete fear of Neela? Like, oh, yeah. fuck, we gotta... You mean Lakwa. Oh, yes, excuse me, her Christian name. <laughs> her born-again <laughs> Christian name. Please land. Yes. Oh, yes. That's like her confirmation. Yeah. <laughs> Saint Clockwork. Well. Fuck you, man. Oh. Let's just die. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> I didn't notice this until uh, yes yesterday when I died once. But when die and when Sly dies, like in combat, and his his le one of his legs does like a double twitch. <laughs> really? really fucked up. That's so fucked up. Because it's like when you actually like run over something. Yeah. Like little, oh my god. Road, still like twitching. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Poor Sly. Or Sly! Sly! You just fucking sneeze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never noticed that. Yeah. Got coronavirus. <laughs> poor poor uh, Bentley. Oh, yeah, you can definitely. Oh, it's right there. <clears throat> I love this, though. Yeah. One of the things that I used to do as a kid was I would just. Uh, um, Oh, thank God. I would just run around the map and sni snipe people from a <laughs> It's so good. Because the bullets don't go away. Yeah. Like, they they will go. Yeah. <clears throat> These fuck. Okay, they're not actually hitting me there. Okay. 
Those things take a lot of hits, too. Alright, so there's one. Well, they look bigger than the normal like, mm -hmm. century ones. Yeah. These freaking, freaking guys. Okay, get up in there. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Yeah. I hate these walls. Yeah. Like I'd rather just be more guards, like getting in the way. Oops. Whoa! Whoa! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ball slide! The ball slide! Can you imagine if this was actually what? What hacking was? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a turret defense game. <laughs> but he's the best in the world. He can't be stopped. We can't keep him out of our firewall. Okay. Don't mind me, guys. These birds can fucking see, man. They really can. It's insane. And like one one of them's on to you, the whole world starts running towards you. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Hasta la vista. I like how you always always double two. <laughs> double bomb. I don't know if two of them or one takes out the big ones. It does when when they're asleep. It does. does it? Okay. So I always thought they would like just get knocked over and then they'd still just be asleep for whatever reason. What's up here? This is a game changer. Let's go! Well, that's what I'm talking about! Holy shit, these moves are so needed in this level. <clears throat> I also just remembered that I said I was going to get all the money. Or buy all the power-ups. I need so much more cash. <laughs> yeah, you're Thousands. Oh, boy. Oh, hell no. Oh, shit. Wait, can they shoot too? Oh, God. What the fuck? You are fucked, sir. Very fucked. They're just gonna keep spawning, yep. Also, from a ratings perspective, we're a long ways. We're what? Are you like cut out there? A long ways away from your slide one tenth. Of oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was also a memory I had of the mugshot areas when you were like, How have you not called Bentley a fucking cunt a hundred times so far? <laughs> like, happened while I was doing that. <laughs> like, I was recording when that happened. You're I'm gonna dead. die, hundred percent. I think you need to like stay like one section behind and just like aim at those the the curvy corners and adjust based on how you need to hit them. Yeah. Okay. Then they'll eventually just move into the spot yeah. on it. Okay. Pro yeah, strat. Just, like, slowly make your way. This is why I got you here for. Who would have thought I'm Bentley, but you're the brains of the operation? I'm, I'm, you could call me, like, Sly One Murray. I say that's, that's pretty fair to, to be who I am. Just fucking fat and worthless and just, <laughs> just wants to eat food. <laughs> those are the best, like, literally the, the whole reason the driving missions, which I wish those would come back. Like, I yeah. didn't like them at the time. Or I didn't remember liking them, but I had loved those missions in the first one. They're some of my favorite shit. Yeah. Um... Like when you fucking ramped 90 feet in the air. Yeah, just straight up. I was like, oh god. I have to. I don't remember this. Okay. Oh. Like lift him up. Mash the circle button. To press the circle button, just press the circle button. Were you the one that showed me that Twitter it. account that is a bot that just <laughs> says all the things you can do with the circle button? It's just literally just, yeah. To do this, press the circle button. What are the things I have to plug in? I also wasn't listening. Do we have to, like, throw them into it? No, I think you lift or just lift them up, all up. Then you go to the second level. Oh, so. uh, I think you're right. And they just get in the way and to make it take longer. I love, like, Bentley, or... God damn it. There's another one. Murray does all this lifting with, like, his legs, and he's just got, like, toothpick legs compared to everything yeah. else. Like, look at those bad boys shaking. <laughs> Leave me alone, sir. Hola! 
I never really noticed, does, like, how Murray does more damage than Sly does on his punches. Like, if you just smack people with the crossbow with Bentley, I wonder if it does, like, even less than Sly damage. I feel like yeah, if does. it does, okay. I'll say it should, I feel like. Because yeah. that'd be a cool, like, way yeah, to make it different. Sly, you have to hit the big guards, I think, like, times to kill them. Yeah. Bentley, it's, like, at least six or eight. Yeah. But then his bombs like hit as hard as like a Murray punch or something, if not more yeah. so. Yeah, there's giant cylinders upstairs. I also, it must only be a Sly 3 thing that um, Bentley and Murray can pickpocket. I thought that was a thing in this game, it's definitely not. Yeah. It's like, uh, Bentley gets his magnet, and then <laughs> Murray literally just picks people up and fucking shakes them. Yeah. There we go. Oh, boom! Oh, boom. I don't remember who the first area of Sly 3 is. I remember they do that cool, like, they start you at, like, the end of the game. That's super yeah. cool. It's, um, it's in Venice. Oh, is it Octavio or whatever his name is? Yeah, yeah, Don Octavio. I like that guy. I don't think we talked about that. I don't, you weren't the biggest fan, right? Yeah, no, I'm I'm down on that on that level. I'll have to see what it's like playing it again. I remember liking the area of like running around. Is that the one where you have like a mission where you're like on a speedboat and you're shooting guys? Yeah, yeah. I like that one. I like the one where you're in a costume <clears throat> and you like have to say the password or whatever to them, and yeah. it's just like random Italian words <laughs> and phrases. Uh, that like I remember not really liking. Oh, oh here we go. Yeah. Operation. Carmelita Fox is in there. She's joined forces with us. Well, she can't find us on her radar. Four things again. Oh, I can't fucking wait for that mission. Okay. Wow. You know, you know the story. The story. Mm. So yeah, first we did the uh, lowering her defenses. Now it's we have to boost like the radar signal so Carmelita can find the blimp. Since it's just like in this cloud of shit, she can't find it. All right, yeah, I think this is a perfect place to wrap this one up. So we'll uh, come on back for the next one where we'll do those radar boosting. So it should be one more episode of doing that, and then it should be Operation Kill That Bitch Clock. I'm pretty sure is what it's called. I can't remember for <laughs> sure, but. Wait, what was, uh, before we leave them on another I'm talking about before <laughs> thing? Wait, what'd you Into say? The... Like, cut out again for some reason. We were talking about something before they did... Oh, fuck, what was it? Fuck all of you. You'll never get to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, when we save this one... Well, I end the video, I'll hop back in and try to listen to what the fuck we were talking about literally three minutes ago, because I also can't remember what it was at all. Oh my god. Thanks for being here again, Grace. It's been a lot of fun. Like I said, we're coming down to the... We're almost done with this bad boy. This should be 32. Oh, well, actually, it's probably going to be like 34 or something. Or part 34, because who knows how long that... Or how many episodes that first one's going to get turned into. We'll find out. But um, thanks for being here, buddy, as always. See you later, B B Bentley Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, B B Bentley? Bentley, I'm my, I'm my, I'm Sly. Sly. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Please be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Sly Games. Follow Grayson at Sheldon Firestone. I'll post the link, or probably put it on the screen if anything. But put a link to his Twitter in the description. Listen to my dad, and I'll see you in the next video.